It is hard to believe that I have been teaching for almost 20 years. So I thought it would be fun to go back and look at some of my old classroom pictures. If you're new here, I'm Rachel Vincent. I am a fourth grade teacher in South Carolina and I did finish my 19th year of teaching. I love to share ways to simplify your classroom and your teaching. So I really only have like two or three pictures of my classroom from my first few years of teaching because back when I started teaching, you didn't really take a bunch of pictures of your classroom because there was nowhere to post them. There wasn't social media back then. So so I decided to go back 10 years to 2013 when I started my teaching blog. I didn't do YouTube, so I don't have videos to show you, but we're gonna look at this blog post and what my classroom looked like 10 years ago. So this is my 2013 classroom tour blog. I'm trying not to actually read and think about my blogging style because I'm sure it has changed in the last 10 years. So let's just look at the classroom pictures. So here was my third grade classroom. It had that bright yellow wall and yellow tile and I did none of my classroom decor was a yellow theme. Like now I should have done like daisies or something, but I was determined not to do it. Oh my gosh, look how terrible the back of that thing is. All of my desks didn't match. I fought so hard to get matching chairs. Oh, look at my bulletin board. So I taught South Carolina history in third grade and these were um, paper plates from the Dollar Tree. That was kind of cute. This is when I first started doubling my border. So I did a pretty good job with that. And then, I mean, that's not bad, except my it's so hard to read any of that a lot of it's store-bought this was before i started really making my own decor oh my god look how busy that is <laughs> so many different shades look so many different shades on those boxes right there oh the chevron i was going for like a um gallery wall above my desk that's a lot look how dark that furniture is you got to go with what you have. Oh, there it is. There's a close up. I mean, it's not too bad looking at it, but still that Chevron. Oh my God, the Chevron doesn't even match the pattern. <laughs> That's funny. It has those diamonds in the middle. I tried. This was, this was Rachel who tried. Oh, I did a little collage of my family and different quotes. I was trying. I was trying. I still have these book boxes today. So those book boxes are at least 10 years old. And I still have this drawer down here. I actually had that since my second year of teaching. So it's about 18 years old. I created most of this. Those read letters. That was my first poster. Oh my gosh. That stool I still have too. This isn't too bad actually. Oh God, look at those labels up there. Oh, the Chevron and the clip chart. Ugh. No, we don't do clip charts anymore. I mean, it's not bad, it's, but it's not great. I turn in bins. I had two different classes at this time. I mean, I'm trying. I feel like I did a decent job. See, I have the daisies there. I should have went a whole daisy theme. And then I had sides. These walls were magnetic, so that was amazing. I could hang a bunch of stuff. I forget what these little boxes were for. Oh my gosh, look at those old school computers. That's hilarious. And then I put some decor in. This isn't not too bad. My math wall, my reading area. So this is when I started separating. I had picture books here and then chapter books here. We had to have a leveled library. It was required. So that went on that green shelf there. Okay, so cubbies. The kids used the bottom cubbies and I put stuff in the top cubbies and I covered it up. And then that was like when Cole's $5 books and stuffed animals was a huge deal. This one, I tried these drawers. They didn't last. I don't even think they lasted a quarter. They all fell apart. I also worked at a Title I school, so I bought a lot of the supplies with my state money that I got. These little things, you can see it's already broken. They were awful. I think I got them for the Dollar Tree. I was saving money because I was buying supplies. However, invest in high quality things that students use a lot. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, the walls. Okay, so I left my wall, and it says here that they're so bare, but I always leave my walls bare at the beginning of the year because students need, you need to fill them up with charts and things like that with your students. So I was doing good. I was trying with the table numbers. They probably needed to be a little lower. I don't know, maybe different colors. I think they were numbered. I don't know. Oh my God, more Chevron. So when I taught third grade, there was a third grade teacher who wrote a whole bunch of fun science, social studies, math songs. And this was when we were tested in both science and social studies and 
along with ELA and math. So to get them to remember the different facts and things like that, she created songs and it was amazing. So this was where I had popsicle sticks with the names of the song. So I'd have a song leader that would just pull them out and sing. So I made them out of crystal light containers. So cute. All right. So I thought I would also show you this post on my blog. So I'm sorry it's blurry, but the... This is when I wasn't a very good blogger and all the pictures are very small, but this is when I really started getting into decorating my classroom. My mom helped me so much my first few years. So I had sort of a bee theme because I inherited a lot of bee stuff from our tiring teacher. Then I went with the beach theme for a couple years this is when I taught second grade. All of those are beach themes. And then I actually was the computer teacher for a year. And then I went and did to third grade. And that was the class I just showed you. This was my 2013 room. That's the one I just showed you guys. And then I pretty much kept everything the same with some minor tweaks in 2014. And then 15 and 16, I was at a different school. And that's pretty much the last I did as far as on the blog. And then of course I have from the past couple years when I started a YouTube, but I will link those below for you to go check out as well. My classroom tours. So much has changed in the past 10 years and I know that I have changed so much as a teacher and probably if I'm still teaching in another 10 years I will say the same thing about my current class but if you would like to see what my current classroom looks like check out the video that's on your screen now where I walk you through my classroom tour from last year.